Hi, I'm Jeremiah Schomberg, the Technical Support Manager for SWD Urethane, and today we're here to show why test sprays before install or application of products is important. Doing test sprays before install is highly recommended to ensure your product is dialed in and ready for the application. Here we started with open cell. The liquid in the barrel is around 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 10 below our recommended minimum, and primary heaters were 10 below our recommended minimum as well. As you see improvement, we begin to raise the barrel temperatures 10 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 70, 75 degrees and our primaries by 10 degrees Fahrenheit to ensure the dialed in product is coming through the gun. You can see the continued improvement of the skin and the cell structure as we spray. As you see the skin to begin to improve, the heat actually is beginning to apply to the foam, improving cell structure, co-adhesion, and adhesion as well. Notice how the co-adhesion also improved when heat is added. You can see in the separation of the layers that it was, it was too cold, and as we heated up, the co-adhesion improved. Notice the inch to inch and a half on the cardboard itself. Here we move to closed cell. When installing closed cell, it's even more important in cold weather to test and dial in your product prior to any install. Here again, we begin below our recommended minimums on both primary and barrel heat. We have a slower than normal cream time and a slower than normal tack free time, which affects the overall product performance. As the heat is added to the product, you can begin to see the skin improve and the cream time improve as well. When the product was cold, we had just a bit of an adhesion gap, but as the product warmed up, it improved the cell structure, co-adhesion, and adhesion. Here we are installing on a, even a colder day against a cold concrete substrate. With barrels 10 to 15 degrees below what they should be, and primaries another 10 degrees below our recommended minimum, you see the extreme long cream time and tack free time of the product. If you can imagine with no testing, if someone was to put this in a wall or roof, what you would end up with and the issues you'd have to deal with or end removing the foam itself. When barrel heat is not set to minimums or recommended settings, or the primaries are not set to recommended settings, you see extremely long tack free and cure times. As we begin to, begin to bring barrel temperatures and primary heats up, you can be, begin to see the adjustment to the foam with the naked eye. Even when we begin to bring up primary heats, without the barrel temperature being brought up to recommended minimums, you can see the cream time and the pooling of the resin and ISO together. Here we had stopped, brought the pail and the barrel up to recommended temperatures as well as the primary heats for the ambient temperature during the day.
There is noticeable difference in cream time and tack free once the primary heats are brought up within recommended settings. As we pull the closed cell off the plastic, you can see the concern and the cell structure issues from the cold spray. Here, when the temperatures are very cold, you can see the cell structure is very coarse and open. Had adhesion problems against the substrate. As we brought it within parameters, the cell structure tightened up and co-adhesion improved. 